Killer Heat review. I'm also gonna be doing some incline bench press. So Killer Heat is the new Amazon Prime exclusive movie based on the book Jealousy Man. And it's a crime thriller. You're following a PI investigating a murder on a small remote island in Greece. So the movie starts out with a scene of this man rock climbing, played by Richard Madden, and he falls to his death. And from there, our main character, who's a private investigator, gets contacted by the sister-in-law of the deceased. And basically she thinks it's murder when the cops have already kind of put it away as accidental death. They're a very rich family, so apparently they're like gods in the area. I don't think the police want to really challenge them. So that's the situation. And from then on, the plot is him trying to investigate what's happened. He makes contact with the investigating officer on the case and he kind of infiltrates their group meetings goes undercover all the pi type of stuff and it kind of reveals one of the root issues at stake was a love triangle between i forgot to mention the main suspect right now is the identical twin brother of the deceased we come to learn that the woman who's come to want to investigate this was in a love triangle with both the brothers the one that died was her original love interest, but then the other brother kind of swooped in and stole her from him. So there's been a bit of beef ever since then, but that's where we're at in the story. Have I improved yet? One lesson. Not to brag, but I was told I'm the best saxist I've ever seen after one lesson. The best. We also learned that this private detective is called the Jealousy Man because he caught his wife cheating on him and then he walked out on his wife and kid and he's said it's improved his work, but hates his life, he drinks every night. It, it was kind of weird, actually. I felt like it really didn't add anything to the plot overall, but... Before I get into spoilers, if you want to review without spoilers, I think this is a skip. Spoiler warning. Where to begin? Our main character has been tracking the twin brother and interacting with him a couple times throughout the story. Picking up little conversations with him here and there, trying to get information that could be useful in the case. But a lot of the info you're getting isn't very sharp, isn't very exciting. It's kind of, I think one of the main problems with this movie is just not very exciting. There is one action sequence, which to be fair, it's not an action movie, but it, it felt a little out of place and a little lacking. I said this was spoiler talk, but I'm finding it hard to actually talk about what happened because not a lot even happened other than what I've already said. He's kind of just gradually investigating it, talking to the family. You're getting bits here and there, but it's, it's still kind of obvious that the brother's the one that did it. At least that's how it's making you seem. So you may be like, oh, maybe he wasn't. But the whole Jealousy Man backstory was kind of just lame. I don't know why he had to have his wife cheat on him and his daughter leave them. It didn't really add anything. I, I guess the only thing it added was he's selling a family dispute despite him having family issues. But don't we all? One bit that was almost exciting was the end. So spoiler one, this is the major plot twist, is you find out the brother did do it. But it wasn't actually the brother, the twin brother killed his brother and then took his brother's place. So the one that we thought has been dead the whole time was actually the other one. And the one suspected of, I don't know how to say this, you know what I'm saying? The brothers switched. So he killed his brother and then took his place, put his ring on, and then slept with his wife. There are other ways to go about this. One of the minor bit of dialogue I didn't mention was, that the mum had a favorite of these two twins. And when the mum found out that the alive twin was actually the one they thought was dead, she just outright shoots him. And then that was kind of it. Also that detective that was loosely working on the case with him got shot and killed in that one action scene I talked about. Nothing really came from that either. Nothing happened in this movie. I feel like this is the type of story that happens in real life. Maybe it's not exciting enough to put a movie about, but they've done it anyway. That's my, that's what I think about this one. Why are we here? Yeah, and then when you think the movie's done because he's dead, shot by the mum, the mum's gone to prison, he's off on a plane home, he realizes something else. What did he realize? The wife that hired him low-key orchestrated the entire thing behind the scenes because she felt trapped in an abusive relationship. And no matter which brother she was with, she felt it would be the same thing. So now when they're both dead, she feels free. What does that detective do about this? Nothing, just talks to her and that's kind of it. Why didn't you catch a flight? Was it necessary to talk to her? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> and then at the very end of the movie, he calls his daughter and says, I'm coming home. What the f***? Felt they give this movie pros and cons. 
Prose, beautiful Greek setting, looked very pretty. The acting was good. It's kind of it. Cons, it wasn't egregiously bad, but it just felt like a big waste of time. It wasn't really psychologically thrilling until maybe one scene, and even then, when you actually thought about it. Like, in the reveal of it was the brother, it was from him deducing all these little things from their conversations, but it was all from, like, the conversation they had at the start of the movie. So why did everything else need to happen when he kind of could have drawn the line there? I mean, I know he made a couple more things throughout it, but it kind of, oh, in these two scenes you got everything, why did... Why did the police officer die? Why did all this other shit have to happen? It didn't need to happen. I'm sure the book is better. I'm not gonna read it. So, would I recommend watching this? No. If you've got any exercise requests for these videos, just let me know. Not a memorable movie. That being said, my rating for Killer Heat on Amazon Prime. I'll give it. Three saxes, point. Three inclined bench presses. 3.3. Thank you. I hope you enjoyed. More sacks coming, more gym coming, more reviews. Joker review is next, and I'll see you all then. Bye.